You do a lot of traveling, Neil. Uh, where's your favorite places to travel and eat and why? <laughs> uh, I tend to, so I'm a creature of habit. Most of you guys don't know this about me. I eat at the same places most of the time. So like here in Hollywood, I eat at uh, Genwa, which is Korean barbecue. I eat at, um, I'm tr uh, dude, what's the Indian place we always go to? Oh my God, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, uh, Spice Affair. We eat at Spice Affair a lot. Uh, we eat at Katana a lot. Um, what's the Mexican place that we eat out at? Um, I know the damn... Uh, Red O. Red O a lot. Uh, Javier's in Orange County a lot. Uh, Sushi Samba in Vegas. I'm a creature of habit. Once I find a few places, I eat the same food all the time. Like I can go to the same restaurant every day for dinner and I don't get tired of it. I'm a creature of habit. It makes my decision making so much simpler so that way I can focus on the things that I really truly care about. I do like good food. Uh, Adam, you know this, every time you come here, you always say like, oh, we're always going to amazing restaurants, right? Yeah, like the best food I eat is when I come to hang out with Neil. <laughs> yeah, you know, like taste is really good as well, but like I eat out so often, I know all the good restaurants. Cause like yeah. once you go to all of them for meetings, like you know what's crap and what's good. Um, as for places to travel, I love convenient places. <laughs> I love New York, I love London. Um, I love pretty much most of Europe. Uh, Asia, the time zone's really hard on work and sometimes it creates issues, but I go to Asia often enough. Um, I love Brazil, I go there a lot, the people are amazing. Funny enough, when I go to Brazil in Sao Paulo, I always stay at um, a hotel where there's a restaurant called Tulsi, because the Tulsi restaurant, Indian food, it's convenient for me. Brazil has a lot of beef and I don't eat beef. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm a creature of habit. I just like staying at places where I'm comfortable. And I know that may sound bad and everyone's like, you need to experience the world and go to these places. But I speak so often at events and I travel so often, I get burned out, right? Like, I'm not a machine, I'm human. I get tired, it's like, I can't just keep going. So it's like, I look for convenience, whatever makes my life convenient, like I'll go there. It's funny, someone was asking me the other day, like, oh, we should go to the M M Maldives and I'm like, can't get a direct flight. And I'm like, the flights I was looking at, I was like, there's two stops. That's three planes, right? Like, I do not want two stops. I'm like, I'm looking for convenience and optimizing time just because I'm so busy with work. And when I'm not working, I want to get in more time with the family. So it's like, for me, I don't look at it as like, hey, I can go to this place and travel. I look at it as, oh, I'm home. I can sit, relax go with the family, walk the park and just chill and talk to my dad. Like to me, that's fun. Like tomorrow I'm excited. I get to go hang out with my dad for the day. During the working day, I'm going to hang out with him most of the time. He'll ask me stuff while I have to work and the TV will be on and I'll respond to like stuff on my computer. But like I'll also chill there and talk to him. But like I don't care to go to a ton of places. For me, I'm in a place in my life where I want to spend more time with family, um, love working and I'm looking for convenience as well. So if you like this video, like, comment, share, I do appreciate it. And if I can ever do anything to help you out genuinely, even if it's, you know, giving you some advice, I don't care for the money, just leave a comment below and I will do my best to try to help you out and answer all your questions. Thank you for watching.